soul is seven, no money for the babysitter. Mama let me make my own decisions, but she wouldn't stand for a nigga like me to ever give up. Never was a thirst and would flow like a river. So much water, life still caught the hiccups. Kept moving forward like an old vehicle. Heart so cold, but I wouldn't laugh when took her. That's it, man. I can't even remember the rest. Yeah. But I appreciate y'all. Y'all check me out, though. Stay Ray Stunner, the very first S in the dollar sign. So I'm on all platforms, you know, YouTube, Spotify. It, it looks like it's ending. Thank y'all one more time. It's ending over here, which sucks. All right, now, a lot of approaches I've gone to, they like to keep things formal. They like to have people plan speeches before and talk. Uh, you know, with something planned, but is there anyone out here right now who would like to come up here and just share some words? Anybody? Or we can continue with the day, you know? Um, again, if anybody here wants to come amplify, who wants to come speak up, Pacific Beach. please come up here.
is not just to highlight the insidious reality of racial disparity in our recent climate, but to transcend the primitive ideals of the oppressive mind. Throughout time, people have come together to fight for change and equality, to pave way for people like myself, who have first-hand experience injustice, marginalization, and discrimination just for being me. But because of social movements like this, I have been given the opportunity Back to repel again, and nice. have a fulfilling life. With the support of the magical and amazing people in our community, we will together continue to pave the road for a future free of hate and discrimination. Peace, love, and equality. Erica Munoz. Again, I still have some space for some more people if you want to come up here and talk. I have a few names to add to the list that we just, that we just heard. We all heard about Tony McDade, a transgender man that was killed in Florida recently. But I have two more names of young black trans women that were killed recently. We have Dominique Remy Fells, Remy is her name. And then we have, I haven't heard this out loud, so I'm just going to guess how I think it's pronounced. Raya, that's R-I-A-H, Raya Milton both killed recently, so I'd like to add their names to that list. And myself, as a transgender person, I feel incredibly strongly, because those are my sisters. Those are my sisters, and that was my brother, and they're not the only ones. Transgender black people are perhaps the most vulnerable people in the country right now, and it, it, it pains me so much to see my family and the black community just being killed mercilessly. This has to stop. If Black Lives Matter, all Black Lives Matter. All Black Lives Matter. Black and trans lives matter, and that's why I've transformed my flag that I got here. But black trans lives matter, please remember that. Please remember their names. I'll read them out again. That was Tony McDade, like we heard. Dominique Remy Fells and Raya Milton. May they rest in peace. Black trans lives matter. I want to keep this brief. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we owe it to our black trans community for throwing the first brick at Stonewall. Marsha P. Johnson. She threw the first brick at Stonewall, and that was our first break. She gave us the freedom to be able to speak up for who we want to love and who we love. Please, can we say her name? Marsha P. Johnson. Marsha P. Johnson. Marsha P. Johnson. Marsha P. Johnson. She was found dead in the river. That is disgusting. That is inhumane. And now do you see, look, at, look around you, do you see how many people we have brought together? That just this morning, I think there was about 500 to 1,000 people marching with us today, and that is see, an accomplishment. We gotta get there all, early, man. Every we gotta get there early. You, everyone who is sitting here right now, you have made this possible. You make it possible for people to live, you make it possible for people to roam free in life and to be able to go about their, ba their daily rituals without feeling the need to be scared, without feeling the need to be pulled over, without feeling the need to be, to be killed or assassinated or anything, really. Thank you so much, everybody here. You are an inspiration to me. And I hope you all continue to inspire everybody else in this area right now. Thank you so fucking much. Now, if you guys want to stick around, uh, I don't know if you guys want to keep being here. Uh, you know, we can move this somewhere else if you guys want to walk anywhere else. Uh, I did have a smaller uh, protest earlier today, like I said, but we ended up merging here. Um, if you guys want to, you know, maybe head down to like City College or Hillcrest, something like that, then you guys will free, feel free to follow along. Uh, but again, thank you so much for being here. You guys are changing the world. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, if anybody sees me out with this speaker and mic, please feel free to approach. And uh, if you want your voice to be heard, you know, I'm just a beacon. So if you see me around, don't be shy. And please feel free to take the mic out of my hand. Yes? Absolutely. Black Lives Matter.
guess it's a wrap. I'm gonna try and find another one. It was too crazy in PB just to get there. I saw all the cops running up there. I said, no, thank you. So, um, we're done with that. Your boy is gonna try and find another one. We'll see what happens. Looks like this Saturday is coming to an end early, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Oh.